There will be times when you will feel alone, when you'll feel deserted, when you'll feel weak and you'll doubt yourself and other people will doubt you and you ask yourself, am I crazy? Maybe I don't have what it takes. That's going to happen. But I'll tell you something. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to stop when you've come this far? Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are. You are. You're still alive. You're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, that means you've still got some fight left in you. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room to grow and be better. Things are going to get harder. Things are going to get tougher. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. You will be tested. And how you face that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great, we want to give this to you. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. They'll say, no, you don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. Don't let nobody steal your dream. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop running toward your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. When you have fear, fear makes you think in ways you shouldn't be thinking. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. But when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you just believe and it'll happen. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this, and tomorrow will take care of itself. Write down at least five reasons on why you won't give up, what's going to make you unstoppable, why you must be unreasonable, because logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one, that you are entitled to this. You're supposed to have this. This is your calling. This is your time. When you no longer focus on the obstacles, when you no longer care what people think or what they might say when you no longer find the need to seek their approval it's done when the pressure within you is greater than the pressure outside of you 